We're here at the brand new fitness center at Parkland College with Chris Warren, program director for the personal training program and also professor of kinesiology. We're going to talk a little bit about the kines program and the personal training program and the brand new fitness center on this edition of Surrounded by Science. Hey, Allison and Dylan, what if I told you you could get a head start on college before you graduated high school and for little to no cost? Well, I'd ask you what the catch is. Yeah, how can I take college courses if I haven't even finished high school yet? That's easy. You simply enroll in dual credit courses at Parkland College. But won't that be expensive? Yeah, will all the credits transfer? Well, most four-year universities accept these credits, and you're actually saving money. Many times the high school will even cover the cost of the course. Um, I'm sorry, did I overhear you guys correctly? Did you just say that you could take college courses without paying college tuition? Yeah, all we pay for is the course and the textbook, and we can earn college credit towards getting our degree. You guys are catching on. The credit works toward a two-year degree, a four-year degree, and even toward career certificate programs. I like the sound of this. I don't know, this all sounds great, but I already have a busy schedule and I won't have time to drive to classes. You won't have to. Parkland offers a number of dual credit courses online in addition to the on-campus courses. Some of the courses are even taught in your high school. You mean to say that one of the high school classes I'm taking right now could work as a dual credit course as well? Yes, you should talk to the school counselor to see which classes are offered as dual credit in our school. Then all you need to do is apply to Parkland and once you're accepted, fill out the application to the dual credit program. You'll need the signature of your parents and advisor for this. That sounds easy enough. Are there any requirements to being eligible for dual credit? Yes, you must be a junior or senior in high school, age 16 or above, in order to be eligible for dual credit courses. You can print an application online or visit Parkland's admissions office to pick one up. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to see the counselor right now. Yeah, I don't want to miss out on this opportunity. Me neither. We're back here with Chris Warren, and Chris, you get a new playground here to play with. We do. We're excited about our new facility here at Parkland College. Uh, Perform Better, who specializes in facility design, has ranked us the number one facility in America. Uh, number which, one. Which we're excited about. Um, he said the University of Michigan's football program and the Penguins in the NHL have comparable facilities, but for a community college to have a facility like this for its students uh, is an incredible thing. That's unbelievable. How many square feet are we talking about here? The fitness center floor itself is about 8,000 square feet. I think the total project was about 15,000 square feet. And, and how much money went into something like this? It was approximately $5 million. Wow, this is amazing. Uh, where is the fitness center located for the people out there that might be thinking, I need to come out and take a look at this? Sure, we're on the north end of campus. So if you come in off of Bradley Avenue, you're going to follow Parkland Way all the way to the north side till approximately about where our tennis courts and our track and field are at. Turn into the M parking lot and it's the northernmost building. You'll see it. There's a lot of glass. You can see right into the facility. And is there any specific hours of operation? Yes. Uh, Monday through Thursday, we're open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. On Friday, it's 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Then on Saturday, we're open 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And Sundays is noon to 4. It's a lot. Right? <laughs> a lot of hours. Well, somebody's writing that down. <laughs> exactly. Now, if somebody, say, from the community wanted to come out and partake in something like this, I mean, you probably just can't walk in and use it. That's correct. What are some ways that you can use the fitness center for to, the public? You'd need to enroll in a fitness center class. So uh, you can take a credit class or non-credit class, depending on whether you want to earn college credit for it. So if you just wanted to use the facility and didn't want any credit, you still enroll in a non-credit class in order to get access to the facility. And we do that on a semester-by-semester -semester basis. So you could sign up for the entire fall semester, then the entire spring semester, and then we also have a summer session. Okay, so they would have to, if you're signing up for the fall, you'd still have to come back and sign up for the spring. That's correct. Okay. And any, besides the credit, are there any differences, anything extras that you get if you're here for a credit class? Oh, absolutely. And, and we'll talk about those during the show. With the non-credit class, you get used to the facility. If you sign up for a credit class, then you're going to get assessment. You're going to get um, access to kinesiology professors who will help you with your program design, nutritional concerns, and um, I'll address some of those in, later on in the show. Okay. Now, remember you said that just floors me that we're like one of the number one facilities in the nation. 
what makes us number one? Is it the square footage? Is it the equipment? Is what what I, makes us that it's top a spot? It's a combination of all of those things. So I think number one, what makes us special is our curriculum, um, which has been in place for several years now. Our kinesiology program is nationally recognized by the National Strength and Conditioning Association. Uh, we are also a polar showcase school. Um, so we've gotten some visibility nationally even before we built the, this facility. The Polar, that's, is that a company? Yep, that's okay. a telemetry, so heart rate telemetry, measuring exercise intensity. We're, one of the, we're the only community college in the United States that has their showcase designation. Wow. Uh, which we're pretty proud of, and I'll yeah. show you how that technology works as we tour the facility, facility today. So our curriculum, and then you, you add what we call the candy shop. I mean, we've got every... <laughs> uh, We've got all of the top-of-the-line equipment, state-of-the-art stuff here in our facility. So those two things make it a very uh, appealing thing. What, what's the feedback you've had from some of the students? They love it. They yeah. love it. They've got two nicknames for it. One is the sanctuary, so it's a, <laughs> a place of escape, get away yeah. from the stress of life. And then the candy shop, obviously, because all of the latest training gadgets are right down there on the fitness center floor. And, um, you know, it's, it's a good thing for us to be able to uh, teach them on the latest and greatest equipment. All right. Should we take a tour? Absolutely. All right. Let's 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 go see. Okay. Now I know we were up on the walking track. We're now down here on the main floor. Why don't you show us some of the things that we have here? I I know what these things are. Treadmills. So we got some treadmills. How many treadmills are here? There's quite a few. Yes. Uh, we have ten life fitness treadmills, and we also have some Woodway models as well, which are high-end performance models. Uh, all of our life fitness treadmills have the touch screen. Uh, you, can, I, you can use the iPod docking station as well for your telephone. Uh, they all have cable television as well, so uh, those are state-of-the-art treadmills. You can see up here up front, this is a non-motorized treadmill, so this curve uh, is actually really good for distance runs as well as interval training. It's so very so you, you determine what the exactly, rate is? By, okay. Exactly. You're like a mouse on the rungs there, <laughs> making that uh, machine work. And so we have about 35 pieces of cardiovascular equipment. So treadmills, ellipticals, recumbent bikes, regular bicycles, we've got a Versa climber, a rower, uh, everything that we would need to prepare our personal training students to work in the real world, and then also for our regular clientele to come in and utilize for exercise. I think it's an interesting point too, because it's not just people working out and trying to get more fit, but you're training people to be personal trainers, right? Exactly. So, so we tried to build a facility. This is a facility of the future. Uh, we wanted our students, when they go out into the real world, to have real world experience here and not run into a piece of equipment out there that they weren't familiar with mm -hmm. and hadn't worked with. So uh, we've got all the pieces in here and that way when our students uh, move on, they're very comfortable with that and understand how it works and how they can utilize it for each specific client. You mentioned the docking station. Anything else special about these particular treadmills that you went with this, this model? Uh, just longevity. Life Fitness is well known for durability, so we, we're going to get quite a bit of usage in this facility and we wanted to make sure that it lasts us a long time. and. It's a, it's a quality product. You can watch TV right on the screen. That's huh? right. <laughs> you don't have to worry about what the main televisions are on at this there point. There we go. Well, let's head down here a little farther. What, uh, what, what have we got here? <clears throat> this, I don't recognize this. We've got some stretch cages here. These are true stretch cages. So you can do some mobility work with this. If you're a golfer, we can work on your range of motion. Mm. Uh, you know, if you're getting a little bit older like myself, we just maintain <laughs> our mobility and flexibility. I got to work on that, uh, you know, several times per week to maintain that. And then if you look behind us, we've got the open turf area, which was just used for movement. So in our training paradigm, we're very big on functional movement. And so we do a lot of lunge matrixes, uh, locomotion type stuff in this area where you just need space to move. So like in an old school facility, this would all be crowded with equipment and there mm -hmm. wouldn't be a whole lot of space to move. We want to have an area where you can do different exercises and, and you've got some freedom of movement and some choice. And uh, you know I'm familiar with the old Universal gyms, but this this looks interesting. What, uh, sure. what do we have here? If you slide this direction, we built the facility so that we could accommodate large groups and not have to crisscross areas. So mm -hmm. in our old facility, which was relatively small, if we had the men's basketball team in there training, and we also had some faculty, staff members, and some students, depending on what exercise you were doing, we might have to go from the dumbbells over to the machines, and those mm. big groups would get in each other's way, and it would be cumbersome and frustrating. In this facility, we've designed a pod area. So if you look at the Kaiser rack, you can do a multitude of exercises on the Kaiser rack. Those are pneumatically driven, so it's air resistance. This is kind of futuristic. We ran pneumatic airlines through the subflooring 
and it connects to a compressor unit which is welded to the bottom of the track. And so you can use traditional uh, strength loaded exercises. They can use the plates, but you can also use the pulleys and use air resistance for your load, which is a neat concept uh, to look at. Interesting. But the, nice, but the nice thing about this is this. We can do a multitude of exercises there. We've got the Olympic platforms. You've got your own set of 5 to 95 pound dumbbells. You've got the turf area to do uh, movement. And then you've got a push-pull system on the wall. So this is your pod. You can basically do any exercise that you can imagine in that area. And so you, we don't have to go from one area of the facility to another and have to intermix groups. So you foresee, say somebody from a team or something could come in here and like this basically is their That's area. That's their space, exactly. Wow. There's no need for anybody else to cut through. We've got six full pod areas and you can do just about anything you can think of in that area. So whether it be an athletic team in here training for the season or three, of our, three or four of our faculty staff members doing a semi-private training session with a trainer or just four people from the community who are taking one of our non-credit classes, they can come in and jump in a pod area and do what they need to do to get exercise for that day. That's amazing, absolutely amazing. I like to see one of these things in operation. I mean, it doesn't really look like there's that much to it, just uh, from looking at it right now. Exactly, so it's um, pneumatically driven, and why don't we get some of our students out here, I'll have them set up three different exercises, and then we can film okay. those and take a look at what that looks like. Sounds like a plan. Gee. Right, we've got a few kinesiology students that are actually going to demonstrate some on this equipment. So why don't you take it away and say what we're about to do here. Absolutely. So with the Kaiser pneumatic resistance, it's running off of an air compressor. So you can use it just with pneumatics. And to do so, you're going to grab this pulley system. We're going to hook Josh up with a 45-pound bar. So the bar weighs 45 pounds, and then he can use the foot pedals to increase the pneumatic resistance or decrease oh, okay. the pneumatic resistance. So as he adds weight, you can see the pounds of pressure on the template or on the reading. So right now he's got 125 pounds of pneumatic resistance plus the 45 pound bar, and he's gonna do some front squats for us. The nice thing about pneumatics is it's also going to count your reps for you, and it's gonna give you power output. So power output in the performance world is huge. And so it enables us to see not only how much weight he can move, but how fast he can move that weight. And what about, you know, after watching some of the Olympics with what some of the weightlifters did there, I'm sure there's also safety considerations here absolutely, too. Absolutely, absolutely. So the nice thing that you could do with the pneumatic resistance is, like for example, if you're doing a bench press, you can basically use the cage to spot you, so you're in a safe position that way, mm -hmm. but you, your feet are in a position where you can toggle that resistance. So say you get to the seventh or eighth rep, and you're feeling like you're not gonna be able to get that last lift, you can actually reduce the amount ah. of load on the bar. So it's really convenient nice. uh, if you're going to just be the only person lifting in this area. It's a very safe way to do so. So that's, that's a little foot pedals Correct. on Correct. here. So, so plus, this would be adding resistance, it. and that would be decreasing resistance. And you can use those in conjunction with the weight plates as well. So for us, it's a nice application because if you get three or four people training at the same time, we don't want to take the time to take the plates off for the next yeah. client to come down. We can just leave a standard amount of weight on or just go with the pneumatics and very quickly change the resistance as you work your way through that circuit. So it's very time efficient as well. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, just the number of times taking the weights off and putting them on. You kill a lot of time it that way. It takes some time. It does, absolutely. The other thing that's really nice about the equipment is it enables us to do what we will call assisted or resisted exercise. So in our training program, you saw us do the functional movement screen. Our first step with most of our clients is building those movement patterns back. Like most people will lose those movement patterns because they're stuck behind a desk all day, their hip flexors are getting shortened, and they lose that squat pattern. So we want to reestablish that. That's called corrective exercise. Mm -hmm. So we correct those patterns. Once we get you moving like you should in all three dimensions, then we want you to be able to handle your body weight. If you can't handle your body weight, the nice thing about these machines is you can use the pulleys to assist you into a movement. So if you can't do a full pull-up, we can hook this to a cap belt, which is around your waist, and use the pneumatics to lift you into that pull-up so you're only handling a percentage of your body weight. I see. And then once you become a beast, then we go <laughs> the opposite direction and we pull you into the, we add resistance to the movement. So it would be similar to doing a pull-up with a 45 pound yeah. plate hanging between your legs. In this case, we can do it in a much safer manner by using the pulley system. All with the same equipment. Exactly. So you can see Ryan right now is doing yeah. a resistance pull-up. Yeah, we head over pull that way. So he's not only doing a pull-up with his body weight, 
He also has the additional load from the pulley system, which makes it that much more difficult. And on the flip side, if we wanted to make it easier for him, we could use the upper pulley system to add or take away his body weight. So really, that's the beauty of that machine, is the, the once we see that you're strong, uh, that's a plus, that you can move through all of the basic movements, but then we want to add load to that. We want to make you stronger, give you more capacity. And I can see right off the bat just the flexibility that you have with this equipment, where you're changing it from one thing to another in just really a matter of seconds. That's just amazing. Yeah, you're only limited by your own imagination. And I like the Cobra on the weights too. That's right. It's a very nice Laser touch. engraved on the weights, it's on our platforms, it's also on our plyo boxes and our slide boards. It was a nice touch to the facility. Now, before somebody had started on this, one of the first things they have to do is the assessment piece, right? That's correct. Okay. Why don't we head into the next room and we'll look at some of those assessments. Sounds good. All right. Uh, as an instructor, I view uh, academic honesty as very important in the classroom. I want the students to uh, not be deprived of their learning and uh, uh, learning how to learn material. And I view that if they uh, look, some, uh, look at someone else's paper or try to get information from someone else without thinking about it, then they're uh, depriving themselves of the learning process. It's not just about you know, covering bases. It's about making sure that you're conducting yourself in a very professional fashion. In my opinion, personally, that's always the thing that wins the day, is doing what's right even when nobody else is looking. <laughs> I want to be truthful in what, what, I, what knowledge I know and, and uh, sort of promote a role model for my students. Honesty not only serves the college very well, it serves the student very well. Honesty and integrity. Honesty and integrity. Parkland College. Parkland College. Get the ball rolling to a new career with an Eastern Illinois University degree at Parkland College. Parkland and Eastern really made it work for me. Now I'm taking Eastern classes on Parkland's campus. I'm working on my bachelor's degree from Eastern without commuting. Thanks to Parkland and Eastern, I'm reaching my goals. For more on Eastern at Parkland, call 217-351-2543. Parkland College is a great way for you to start your career. Don was a great inspiration for me. He was not only my teacher, he was a friend. During the time that she was there, she developed very good skills in my drawing and watercolor classes. We got to be very good friends as well. We saw her confidence in her own ability grow, which is uh, extremely important for an art student or a creative person. I had a great experience and I loved it and I recommend it to anyone. In order to use our facility, you have to take a class. That class can be credit or non-credit. If you take the non-credit class, then you get used to the facility. If you end up taking a credit course uh, and you sign up for one of our 100 level Kinesis Activities courses, then we would take you through a full body age assessment. During that body age assessment, which is going to take a look at your biological age versus your chronological age. So how old you are biologically versus how old you are chronologically. How do we determine your biological age? It would be based on your blood pressure, your body composition, your weight. Uh, we do a sit and reach measurement. We do health risk analysis questionnaires. Uh, that would be included in the price of that 100 level activities course. If you sign up for a 200 level activities course, Kinesis activities course, then we also do a functional movement screen. So part of our training paradigm is to make sure that you can move through all of the basic movements. Can you squat? Can you hinge? Can you lunge, push, and pull? And so one of our personal trainers would take you through that assessment in addition to the body age and then train you twice per week. So for non-credit enrollees, you get used to the facility. If you sign up for the 100 level activities course, you'd get a full body age assessment, which is extremely valuable. If you sign up for the 200 level Kinesis activities courses, then you get full body age plus functional movement screen and a trainer twice per week for the full 15 weeks of the semester. That's quite a bit. It is, it well, is. Well, it looks pretty painful if you ask me. It's not painful at all. <laughs> I will add that none of our assessments are maximal, so you don't have to have anxiety or get stressed out about coming in here and thinking we're gonna put you on a treadmill and make you do a maximal until you collapse type mm -hmm. effort. It's all sub-maximal stuff, which is very simple. 
uh, you're not even going to sweat, and we're going to get a good idea of where you're at and where your uh, training program should begin. So it sounds like you know a lot of people, I think, probably go to a gym and just start working out, but it sounds like assessment is really a major part of that. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and I think that's one of the beautiful things about our program is we don't just give you a cookie cutter program. We do take a look at your health history, your medical history, your injury history, um, how you assess on the body age machine, how well you move, and then choose our starting point, which is key. Because the worst thing that we could do would be to injure you or, or set you back even further. Mm -hmm. We want it to be a good experience for you and get people healthy again, get people moving. Can you, and you kind of alluded to this, can you run through quickly again what kinesiology classes do use this? Sure. For Absolutely. Well, if you want to be a client, if you want to be the person working out, you can take the non-credit or the credit level courses. And then if you want to learn our training paradigm, then you can enroll in our transfer curriculum, which we have four transfer pathways. And we also have a 25 credit hour personal training certificate, which culminates in the NSCA CPT certification. And so all of the courses, our exercise phys, our human movement course for our students, all use these areas as lab spaces. So it's nice to have some of the nicest labs in America. How long does it take to get a personal training certificate, like on average? If, for our students, it takes one year. So really, one year? It's a, it's a daily process. We have class every day uh, from 9 a.m. to 9.50. And that includes a clinical experience in the spring where you train hands-on for 14 weeks. So you don't just leave with the theoretical knowledge, you actually get hands-on experience with the client as well. That's amazing. Okay, Chris, something you mentioned in the introduction was uh, something about the telemetry. That's kind of a feather in our cap here. And now we've got several stations hooked up here and we got the TVs going. So why don't you kind of explain what's Absolutely. going on? This is kind of the icing on the cake for our facility. This is, I think, really what sets us apart from most people in the country. We are the only community college that's a polar showcase school, like we mentioned before. And what this does is this gives us uh, a really good idea of how hard you're training, how hard the exercise is for the individual. So instead of me subjectively guessing how hard you're working, now I have scientific data to back that. So if you look at the television screen, you can see, you know, client one is at 43%. This is almost like a tachometer on a car. Okay, now like 43% of, of their the, maximum, okay. their maximum heart rate. So that would be at rest. As soon as we start having these individuals exercise, then you're going to see them start to go in higher training zones. And what we're trying to do as the strength and conditioning coach or the personal trainer is dictate how much time they spend in each training zone based on the training effect that we want to get. So what we have with this system is each of our individual clients is wearing a transmitter. That transmitter kicks via Bluetooth up to 330 feet to our base station. The base station is attached to a computer which ties into all the televisions in the facility wow. and the projection unit. <laughs> that's, a, that's neat. So no matter where we at, we can train in any portion of the facility and just switch the television station to the telemetry station and we can pick up their heart rate in real time. So I no longer have to go over and ask them, hey, how hard are you working? I can visually look and if we're doing circuit-based training, now I can use their recovery period based on their own numbers rather than just give them, hey, everybody needs to recover for 30 seconds. For mm -hmm. the person who's in great shape, 30 seconds might be too long. For the person who's not in great shape, 30 seconds is not enough. And with this, we can do heart rate based intervals, which is awesome stuff. It's really exciting to be able to use this in our training paradigm and also to teach this to our students because it's an important concept to understand. So you really are not just, it's not just maximizing the program, but the individual. Absolutely. Every, everybody this is, is kind this of. This is what makes personal training personal training. And the industry standard right now is to get away from one on one sessions and get to semi private sessions. People like the camaraderie, they like to work mm -hmm. out with other people, uh, they like the motivational factor of that. But then, how do we make it personal trainer? This is the way. So, for example, if you didn't uh, eat that well for the last two or three days, you didn't get enough sleep, maybe you have a newborn child and they're keeping you up at night, this exercise is gonna affect you differently than the next person. And so this allows us to really make it specific to that individual. So you're doing personal training, but you could be working with three or four people exactly. at the exact same time. Or more, or more. We can hook up to 81 people 81 to this people. system at <laughs> once. So it's got some nice capacity. We, we could do a lot of things with it. Is the uh, other number on the TV, is that heart rate, or what, what's, the, uh, what's the other number? What, you, what you're seeing in the middle, the big number, that's the percentage of their max, mm -hmm. and then the other number would be their individual heart rate. Okay. And so, as you see, the, each zone is color-coded, and if they were training really hard, we could drive them all the way up into their red zone. 
You know, there's no danger there in their red zone. That just means you're working at a really high intensity. You're not going to be able to sustain that for very long. Probably going to need a longer recovery once you've hit that zone. It's interesting even how the whole frame even changes, uh, changes color a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so it's nice. You can see it's it from a, a long way away. It's a good visual for us to have, and it enables us to be very specific in the type of training that we want to do. We really appreciate your students coming out and doing, uh, doing all this hard work. You're probably going to owe them later, right? <laughs> That's right. Bust it. See if we can get a red zone. So you can see. See how he just went to the yellow? Now he's yeah. at 87%. Do another one. One more down and oh, back. He just, he just hit red. Yeah. So that's driving his heart rate up. That's a very metabolic activity. And then if we wanted to do heart rate based recovery, then we would let him drop all the way to the 50%, 50 to 60% range before he did his next set. And that would be very specific to him as an individual. Like you said, putting the personal in personal training. Exactly. Drive it, drive it, drive it. Come on, Ryan. Finish it out. Kill it. Finish Kill it out. Good. Now rest. Now watch his heart rate recover. If he's in really good shape, the heart rate will recover very quickly. If he's not in as good a shape, it'll take a little bit more time, but this is as specific to the individual as we can get. So he wants to get that down to 50? Yep. We'd like to see it recover to 50 to 60% before he does his next set. And that was pretty hard right there, so it's going to take him a couple <laughs> minutes to bounce back. <laughs> well, Chris, we really appreciate the tour that you gave us of this first-class facility here at Parkland College. This is, this is just unbelievable, the things that we've got here my pleasure. And we hope that not only Parkland students, but faculty like me and the community will actually come out and actually use something like this. All these new toys, it's, it's just uh, unbelievable how all this works. In fact, this shows that we truly are surrounded by science. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I think I'll go for a workout now. Sounds good. See if I can make it down the steps. <laughs> Let's go.